Coming there, shooter like they shoot masters. Yeah. I'm like, whatever, whatever. PK, rep OG like a new era. New Instead era. of a solution, we all running our mouths. Running. I ain't running from my past, I'm just running from cops. Yeah. We need to fix that. Multiple people losing their life. life. Man, I seen the math. Seen the math. Pluses and minus, good with the bad. With the bad. Figure that. Figure that, figure that. It's all bigger than Black Lives Matter. Yeah. We all suspect. We all suspects. The Lord, can you take a walk with me? Take a walk. All my demons take cautions. Rooting flowers by the Carmelo de God. Man. All these people living reckless. reckless. They rolling like the ties on. They rolling like. I'm only chewing what's been bitten off. No subliminals. Pause these pop offs. Yes, man. The silence to all the people walk losing their lives. Me, Lord, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, Lord, walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, Lord, while I'm on this teacher's Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. 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 Yeah. Walk with God, no need to watch these steps Hallelujah, Hallelujah. What happened in peace? Ain't no peace no more nah. We all hunted by our own damn ghosts we I saw Mr. Red Stand up, people continue to stand straight That's I'm safe. holding on Even if I feel my hands break my hands The break. devil's plan to see This nigga land break No, land quake Get it, got it All this blood running fossil Man, it stays like this I wish, I wish I wish Dreaming their dreams, living life of the ease. I wish. Holy Bible got me staring at the same page. I wish, like I can't read. I wish, yeah. Y'all think I can't see? Rest in peace to everyone that's dead and gone. I wish, this the road I chose to mourn your life. Yes. Whether black or white, Whether. real deal, you can't hide facts. Hide facts. The real deal, they can't hide facts. I love Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. 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 Walk with me.
We was little boys in the hood. No, I wouldn't change if I could. No complaints, a little change would be good. With a diamond in the back of the lot, like it don't forget the grain on my wood. We were little boys in the hood. No, I wouldn't change if I could. No complaints, a little change would be good. With a diamond in the back of the lot, like it don't forget the grain on my wood. Yeah, first thing first, set the extra. No one need to warn G the way we regulate. Warn the G's to warn the streets, the boys investigate. We just a Lakers delegate. Fuck your declaration, that the halls. Head neck it off for the decoration. Writings on the wall, I'm who they call for the illustration. All the way down for the cause, I'll demonstrate it. While the long faces, knowing it's the way you make it. Living me a wild child, been a while since the cages. We out here without fear, this shit's outrageous. Your whole outlook is outdated. We need balance, what would God be without saying? Let's save it. We just a link with our delegate. You don't put the work in while the celebration. Niggas are rapping, fuck with reputation. For one of my bros, ain't no hesitation. We just a link with our delegate. You don't put the work in while the celebration. Niggas are rapping, fuck with reputation. For one of my bros, ain't no hesitation. We was little boys in the hood. No, I wouldn't change if I could. No complaints, a little change would be good. With a diamond in the back of the lot, like it don't forget the grain on my wood. We were little boys in the hood. No, I wouldn't change if I could. No complaints, a little change would be good. With a diamond in the back of the lot, like it don't forget the grain on my wood. In the hood, it's a Trey, Ricky, and Doughboy. Outside looking in, you only be oh boy. No doubt, now I'm Debo with the Bogart. Minister Society inspired me to go hard. Curry with the shot, Chef Boy, y'all. Not bad for the link with that wouldn't go far. I'm where I'm supposed to be. All the homies here close to me. For all who oppose, praying hands with a rosary. Now I lay them down to sleep. Pray the Lord, my soul to keep. Sticking with the cold of the street. No cold feet if you hold the heat. We all know there's a fee. Pay it with your life, it ain't right. For some out here that price is cheap. We just a link with our delegate. You don't put the work in while the celebration. Niggas are rapping, fuck with reputation. For one of my bros, ain't no hesitation. We just a link with our delegate. You don't put the work in while the celebration. Niggas are rapping, fuck with reputation. For one of my bros, ain't no hesitation. We was little boys in the hood. No, I wouldn't change if I could. No complaints, a little change would be good. With a diamond in the back of the lot, like it don't forget the grain on my wood. We were little boys in the hood. No, I wouldn't change if I could. No complaints, a little change would be good. With a diamond in the back of the lot, like it don't forget the grain on my wood.
that lets me know you'll be here. Ain't going nowhere. Right height, right size, that frame, you're just my type. Mm. And just in case you didn't hear what I said, come on over here and let me sing it in your ear. I'm upon ya. Oh, call me crazy. Can't let you get away. Oh, girl, you give me that good, good loving, that all of my sunshine. Can't think about nothing else if it ain't you. I'd rather be by myself. Oh, all I wanna do is spend the night with you. Night for the rest of my life. Don't you open up that window Don't you let out that antidote Popping pills is all we know In the hills is all we know Don't go through the front door It's low-key at the night show So don't you open up that window Don't you let out that antidote Sunday Do it all again on Monday Spent the check on the weekend oh my God. I might do it all again That's bullshit I just hit a three-peat Fuck three hoes I met this week I don't do no old hoes My nigga, that's a no Don't you open up that window Don't you let out that antidote Popping pills is all we know In the hills is all we know Don't go through the front door It's low-key at the night show Ooh. 
bitch not at home, she at the night show, ooh, fucking right, ho, ooh, had to catch a flight for the night show, ooh, let's get by though, bottles got us right though, we ain't sipping
Tesla Autopilot takes driver safely to hospital. The story is from Newsweek. I'm Eric Byrne. You're listening to Newsbeat Radio. A man suffering from a pulmonary embolism was driven 20 miles to a hospital by the autopilot system on his Tesla car, according to reports. Joshua Neely, a 37-year-old from Missouri, was driving home when he experienced a medical emergency. Deciding the best course of action was to get to a hospital in his car, Neely let the autopilot system of his Model X take control on the highway. He was then able to finish the final section of the journey from the highway to the hospital by himself. It just hit where it was the most excruciating pain I've ever had, Neely told local news broadcaster KY3. It was kind of getting scary. I called my wife and just said, something's wrong, and I couldn't breathe. I was gasping, kind of hyperventilating. I just knew I had to get there to the ER, he says. Neely credits the technology with potentially saving his life, offering a counter-argument to fears raised after the autopilot system was blamed for a fatal accident in Florida earlier this year. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has previously said that the autopilot mode reduces the likelihood of a car accident by up to 50%. Speaking in April to Kettle Solvik Olsen, Norway's Minister of Transport and Communications, Musk said that early data from the semi-autonomous driving mode suggested that the system was twice as good as a person. Musk said, even with our first version, it's safer than a human. I think it's going to be important in terms of satisfying regulators and the public to show statistically with a large amount of data, with billions of kilometers of driving, to say that the safety level is definitely better by a meaningful margin if it's autonomous versus non-autonomous, says Musk. My heart is 
on their foreheads and I heard a voice from heaven like the sound of great waters and like the rumbling of mighty thunder the voice I heard seemed like the music of harpists accompanying themselves on their harps and they sang oh they sang a new song before the throne of God and before the four living creatures and before the elders of the heavenly Sanhedrin No one could learn to sing that song except the 144,000 who had been ransomed, purchased, redeemed from the earth. Israel is songs for you. The Messiah is calling you. Open deaf ears and open blind. Israel, he's calling you. Come forth. Come forth. When I was young, I'd listen to the radio, waiting for my favorite song. 
those were such happy times and not so long ago how I Yesterday once more Yesterday once more Got some houses. I'm always hearing uh. rappers big ballin' on these songs. I do that shit for real, and you'll never say I'm wrong. S500 straight sitting on 20s. Uh. TV in the dash, pimping hoes, getting money. I'm too short, baby. Been down since the 80s. For the last eight years, rode around in a Mercedes. Lexus, truck, uh. rock, vet, caddy. Uh. Bitches don't call me by my name, they call me daddy. Call me daddy. Really. 
I'll probably never have no money like Ross Perilli, but shit, we just want to hip. Don't want the whole place. Don't put the two on the tip. Don't never perpetrate. Like a lot of these fools I see on TV. With the Armani Chanel versus Versace. My motherfuckers can't be broke sometimes. Sometimes it's cool to fly. But don't buy an $85,000 car before, before you buy a house. I said I couldn't rap. I just say bitch. I guess the bitch made me rich. And now you want to call me hardcore. While well, I be stepping out the shower on the marble floor. I pay the IRS taxes, send FedEx and faxes. This industry is like fucking fat bitches. All work and no play. I do it every day anyway. Cause I gotta stay paid for it. Say that you got it all. Niggas got that paper, ultra fight, all inclusive trips, Montego, Jamaica, front row seats at the ultimate fight, Jamrock and Severn, long expensive uh, flights, up there in the heavens, fat ass Rudy checks, fat ass cribs, smoking blunts and drinking goo on the balcony, barbecue and ribs, the most thriller of the Marriott, I represent the yay area. I walk from Foothill and Davis Course to 67 and Arthur, to Freddie B. Hop to make tapes with my partner here to Royal Park, we had tapes for sale, got a paper bag full of that, can't you tell? It's phony. Everybody now they hit like this. I said bitch, and everybody read my lips. I got rich, sucking up the game from the O. And even though a lot of rappers got the same kind of flow, I survived 'cause I got more game than them. It came straight from the prostitutes, players, and pimps. It was my destiny. I came the same every time, so don't question me. I transferred the game in the rhyme. I'm not a freestyle, so don't rap for free, man. It's play style on mine 'cause I love money, money, Land Rovers and Toyota. Lexus 600 be clear with this big ass motor. Bitch, 86, we don't be saving hoes. Saving bitch, just be saving up. Yeah. Bitch, disrespect me in my car. Bitch, best to catch the bus. Yeah. I keep a briefcase full of game. Like game. Why y'all be here hustling? Ain't no paper about pimping, nigga. We ain't trust. Say that you got it all. Just be 
because I drink the eight. They say that I'm hopeless, but I don't give a fuck, so blame it on the locals. Now this is how we do it when we check in a grip. Teddy bears in the house, so don't even trip. We're busting funky compositions as smooth as a prism. So check it while I kick it to this funky ass rhythm. It's Friday morning, the phone is ringing off the hook. And AMG is in the deer reviewing rhymes in this notebook. Or should I say don't sack because we don't bust whack. I pick up the phone and it's the G. What's up, nigga? He said he's coming down at about two on the dock. So I'm about to rest the tub while my water's still hot. And now I'm soaking. A brother like the devastating DJ Quick ain't joking. Fuck with me on DSP and you'll get broken. My name is Quick, but you can call me Daddy. Daddy. Yo, open up the door to take a freak man in the caddy. Now Freaky's in the L, dog, and Shabby's in the L, go. And everybody's sipping on the quote. Here we go. In addition to the three that Greedy just bought But I don't want to start early So I just might put my 40 in the freezer Cause I want to get bent
what he said. That's a good enough reason to buy the things I buy. I'm so fly. I'm on point, and I can tell that you're jealous. It's by the look in your eye. I when I ride by. Yeah, you units on the street to the top this year. I'm so fly. I got money, so that's a good enough reason to buy the things I buy. Huh. Banks is fresh off the gutter, too smooth to stutter. The cigar note of brother, like two scoops of butter. Before I leave the crib, I tell my mother I love her. Rap, but she ain't concerned, cause he's a earner. My chick lays it out real nice for me to we fight, wake up and, uh, like Ike and Tina Turner. It's a privilege to ride with a sled. Cause the girls over there don't got a problem getting bread. Paranoia's on you, that's why your llama's in your bed. Forget a chinchilla and buy some mama for you. From the block I'm from, dudes be damn near 40 and still. And they baby mama's pregnant and still. This either cause they boyfriends are scrub like Brillo. Or cause Banks is cooling on the other side of the pillow. The for my homies that got locked up in the portage And now they gotta go back home I'm so fly I got money so that's a good enough reason To buy the things I buy I'm so fly I'm on point And I can tell that you're jealous It's about a look in your eye When I ride by I don't care She do this whole street To the top this year I'm so fly I got money so that's a good enough reason To buy the things I buy don't confuse me with these suckers Cause when I spit you hear more ooze Than a skip in my loop move at the rucker Thank God for giving thanks to gift You think that bandana makes you look gangster But all I see is a handkerchief Play it as no one out the click that freezes Believe that cause I ain't scared of nothing but Jesus Look dog on Rome with the poodles the Difference is I'm eating in Rome And you eating Roman noodles Your boy is corrupt kid Banks is in a chick to the store It's for a piece of cheesecake like Puff did You chumps can't afford these homes Look around I got four 40 cones, now look down, that's 40 stones, and that's only in the necklace, I'm only and I'm reckless, that's Tony and Alexis, I'm fresh out the gutter, scrap what your man thought, I'm in the hood with more than a chance, so I fly, I got money, so that's a good enough reason to buy the things I buy, I'm so fly, I'm on point, and I can tell that you're jealous, it's about a look in your eye, when I ride by, I don't care, she's doing this whole street to the top this year, I'm so fly, Got money, so that's a good enough reason to buy the things I buy. Huh. When I travel, I know I'm gonna get stuck. Cause they harass us in the airport like I'm the one that's blowing it up. I got the patience of a high school teacher and a bright future. Why the hell would I have a bomb on my sneaker? All the goody girls back off us. My heart's colder than Jack Forces. We pack shows and attract bosses. And black clothes and my black forces. A black rose for rats. Blow up to that black. Going the road and I'm back flossing. No one knows how much that's costing. Throw, don't need a green moves me. I got a clean, a pair of gloves and a mask from the screen movie. So if you're plotting on showing off, scheme smoothly. I get a little splatter on your cream coochie. My name ring each state, so you ain't gotta go all the way to LA to get your MCE. I'm so fly, I got money, so that's a good enough reason to buy the things I buy. I'm so fly, I'm on point. And I Spot a look in your eye When I ride by I don't care She do this on the street To the top this year Now I'm so fly I got money So that's a good enough reason To buy the things I buy They say you took something That belonged to them And man They gon' kick your white ass Imposter, I'm just a middle class worker from Toronto. In spite of how I sound, single one platinum bigger than Marley and Jimmy and Yellowman, but I'm not even mulatto. My reg is watered down. Hear me on the radio, think I could not be blacker. But on my video, you see I'm really a cracker. Pretending I was a rasta since I was in jammies. I should pay my face and stop betting out Mary. You can criticize me all the way to the bank. My single number one and Shabba don't rank. Time wanna kick dice, the off the label, put this in the cup. They said it just ain't right. But when a Caucasian man records a copy and song, they don't have a problem. Must be an oversight. All the Jamaicans think I gave them a bum steer. But everything I know I learned from an auctioneer. The bidding has started seven for this year. Go gang. Eight, do I hear eight, nine? Who will give me ten? I got ten, ten going once, going twice sold. I can spot gibberish and it'll go gold. I am what I am, and that's all that I am. A skilly button, get up, dip it up the bull. Day -o, day -o, bizarre day, bizarre day, bizarre day, bizarre day, bizarre day. Oh. I'm 
rapping your songs with the best of my ability. You need a black man to increase the credibility. When put on the spot, I side with the rosters, cause Sean ain't down with no imposter. Imposter, like vanilla ice, the people are sick of me. They put my boom boom down in four months. My butt'll be back in Canada working a day job with a burger crown. Would you, would you, would you like fries with that? A hot apple pie with that? Just drive around now. Blue tap. Cool running. Ah! Hey, man. You wouldn't hit a man with glasses, would you, man? I'm warning you, man. I shot the sheriff. Exodus. Oh, now. This is The Takeaway. I'm John Hockenberry. Thanks so much for listening. Last week, it was the unqualified candidate who should never get near the White House. That was the discussion. This week, it is the -the off-the-cuff candidate saying things that might get you pulled out of a security line at the airport. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. By the way, and if she gets to pick... If she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is. I don't know. Donald Trump in Wilmington, North Carolina, suggesting that Second Amendment types constitute some corrective civilian militia who can change the result of an election by force if a president overreaches somehow. The Trump camp quickly released a statement saying he was referring to the, quote, power of unification, whatever that means. It seems as though it was clear in the original quote anyway. Mr. Trump has already signaled his doubt about the viability of free and fair elections in the United States. He said this in August, speaking in Ohio, where various tricks have been used to suppress reliably Democratic voters. First of all, it's rigged. And I'm afraid the election is going to be rigged. I have to be honest, because I think my side was rigged if I didn't win by massive landslides. But the claim that America's elections are somehow rigged has taken a whole new energy this cycle with Trump's claims, as well as those from Bernie Sanders supporters, many of whom believe that the DNC was skewed against their candidate. Howard Dean was a presidential candidate in 2004. He also served as the governor of Vermont from 1991 to 2003 and chair of the Democratic National Committee from 2005 to 2009. Also joining me is Jeffrey Lord, political advisor to Ronald Reagan and contributing editor of The American Spectator. He's also a CNN commentator. Welcome to both of you. Thank you, John. Nice to be here. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. And Howard Dean, what do you make of this assessment that free and fair elections are, in fact, a dubious proposition, as Donald Trump has suggested? The truth is that it's incredibly unlikely that you could rig an election in this country. Uh, Most people are honest. Most people that count the votes are honest. Um... I mean, one could bring up the George Bush victory by one vote, which was the Supreme Court vote. Uh, but that really doesn't get to the, what goes on at the polls. That was, a, that was a, I think, a hijacking by a right-wing group on the Supreme Court. So um, I, I'm, I'm disinclined uh, to think that it's possible to rig a presidential election. I think, um, I think we do have to be vigilant. Uh, I think these voter ID laws are, for the most part, aimed at suppressing votes of people who are inclined to vote Democrats, which is members of minority groups and young people. Um, but, uh, you know, I, th- I think for, for Donald Trump to say the election is going to be rigged is, in, is consistent with all the other fairly crazy things that he has said over, the, over his candidacy. What is Donald Trump worried about, Jeffrey Lord? Well, I think he's worried about the the same thing that, frankly, Republican candidates always have to be worried about, that in a close election, you've got a group of people in these big cities who are, in effect, stuffing the ballot boxes. Why should Republicans be worried about that? In 2000, they got the Supreme Court on their side, and boom, it was George W. Bush. Right, right, right. But, I mean, why do we have to go down that road? I mean, I think we need to be vigilant here. And one of the interesting sort of side effects of that is that a lot of people switch to computer voting. And, uh, you know, right here in my home precinct here in Pennsylvania, we vote by computer. But there's nothing that says, you know, I, I can punch the screen, but there's nothing that verifies to me that my vote has actually been cast the way I want it, you know, unlike a paper ballot used to be. So you still have 
problems with this that are of a high tech nature that people can fool around with. There's no question about that. Well, you're speculating whether the computer actually records your vote or not. Isn't that something you're you're just uh, well, I just all I'm saying, John, is w we have to be careful about this because everybody wants to trust the the electoral system. And when there have been problems, you need to make sure that we've got people on hand who are who are honest and on the up and up and that the ballots are counted fairly and squarely. Let's talk about the voting machines for a second. Uh, I think Jeffrey's right about this. After the uh, 2000 election, there was a lot of so-called election reform. There were a lot of contracts which were uh, which were won, uh, particularly in places like Ohio, where you could have exactly the kind of machine that Jeffrey described, which was you, you push the button and you don't know what's happened, and that's that. Uh, there is a, a way around that. I'm for computerized voting, but you have to have a paper trail. So the computerized voting, uh, what we do in Vermont and have done for some time, is you fill out the ballot and then you stick it in the computer. The computer counts it, but you have the ballot that you filled out that everybody can look at it, recount. If you don't have a paper record, uh, I think <laughs> Jeffrey's absolutely right. You do have to worry about computerized voting, and there was a huge problem with that. To both of you, uh, do you worry that Donald Trump rhetorically is trying to delegitimize the electoral process in advance of his elections, that if he loses, uh, there is a potential for instability that might, uh, in fact, create a, a, a post-electoral turmoil that we've never seen before in this country? I, I don't. I mean, I, I'm sure Governor Dean may have a different view of this. I, I don't. I just I think that one of the things about uh, Donald Trump's campaign all through all of this is that he's been the outsider and outsiders traditionally have a different view of what goes on that's been accepted practice and procedure so i think that he brings the, brings that sort of gimlet eye to all of this and then he's raising good questions that need to be asked that perhaps might not be asked by more established politicians is it legitimate for an outsider to suggest that second amendment types constitute a civilian militia that's capable of correcting an improper election if uh, someone in the White House overreaches? Oh, I think that was a gotcha. You know, Hillary Clinton in the 2008 campaign, when she was uh, being pressured to withdraw from the California primary, said something to the effect that, well, you never know what happened. Robert Kennedy was assassinated the night of the California primary. And people instantly said, oh, my goodness, she, is she suggesting that Barack Obama should be shot? Well, of course not. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is one of these media gotcha moments that I think is just crazy. And, you know, there's a backlash against that, too, out here. D Donald Trump was here uh, at a local high school, and I went to the event, and he had a line in there that, that our biggest problem is the media. That was the largest and longest sustained applause line of the entire night. Well, I think both of us agree on that. <laughs> um, uh, I, I actually have heard that line used by right-wingers before, and it was used on me. I had a, a right-wing opponent after I signed the Civil Unions Bill in 2000 who said, it's time for us to get a little dangerous. You know, it, that's one of these remarks that, that it is better not to be said by somebody who's running for a chief executive position, whether it's the president or governor or whatever it is. Um, the other uh, issue is the legitimacy of the elections. Uh, you know, there is, I wouldn't say there's instability, uh, but the, the scene in Florida with the recounts was pretty awful, with keeping people banging on the glass and organized attempts to intimidate the people who were voting. Uh, I mean, people who are counting the votes. Uh, I don't think there's going to be real instability in the country. Uh, but, you know, I think Trump thrives on this kind of stuff. Trump thrives on chaos. This is his negotiating position. This is what he's used to all of his uh, bu professional business life. He he gets people nervous. He gets them off balance. He gets deals. He doesn't keep them. Um, I, you know, I, I think this is Trump. I Do I think the country's going to become unstable because of Donald Trump? No, I don't think so. Uh, although, I actually... Uh, you know, I, my whole theory about these elections, not here, not just here, but in Brexit and, and the, uh, the right wing governments in, uh, in Europe, is that what's happened is globalization has left a lot of pe people behind it. I actually think the establishment that Trump rails against, which he's, of course, part of, uh, is partly responsible for that. Uh, we, we, we do have a higher standard of living, but not everybody's participated. And people do feel that the, it's unfair, uh, and it is. Uh, the tax code, for example, is clearly slanted towards people who already have lots of money, and it's getting tougher and tougher on people who work for a living. Is uh, Donald Trump sending the message that if Hillary Clinton wins, 
it's a cheat on those people who are angry in America whose vote is consistently being suppressed? I think he is doing that, and I think that's a mistake because it's not true. I do, th- I do think he, he's sending a message here. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've had been to two of these Trump rallies right here in central Pennsylvania. I get a lot of, I have the opportunity to talk to a lot of the folks here. They're really upset. I mean, I guarantee you, I mean, they are quite passionate about feeling that they have been treated deeply unfairly by the quote unquote system here. And they are looking to Donald Trump to to bring change as a change agent. And they see Hillary Clinton, frankly, not just her, but since she's going to be the nominee, they see Hillary Clinton as part of the establishment, if you will, and that there is no change there ahead. And what strikes me about this is their enthusiasm for this. And I, I, I talk to Hillary Clinton supporters from time to time, and, and their essence of their response is li- sometimes literally a shrug of the shoulders, like, yeah, well, I'm going to vote for Hillary. And there's always sort of a but in there. There's not a lot of enthusiasm. And I think that that may make a difference on Election Day. Uh, what do you think? I'm very enthusiastic, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Lord, final question. Does the Electoral College make it possible for a battleground state in a divided nation to be decisive if uh, one of these ballot stuffing tactics takes hold? Sure. I mean, the marvel of the founding fathers is the Electoral College. Uh, I- I'm one of those people who love it. So. Yes, absolutely. This is the United States of America, not United America. And the states decide. I look forward to uh, seeing this play out in the Electoral College. I might add, if you ha- didn't have an Electoral College, it would be almost impossible to stuff ballot boxes and have it make any difference in a, ge- in a national election. But let me just, Jeffrey Lord, you look forward to ballot stuffing in battleground no, no, states? No, 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 I don't look forward to ballot stuffing. No, I, I look forward to the system where, you know, we vote here in Pennsylvania and, and Governor Dean's folks vote in Vermont. And then you've got uh, people who are electors and they gather, in our case, they gather in the state legislature and they cast their ballot. I noticed the other day that there was an elector in Georgia who resigned because uh, he he was apparently concerned that the state was going to vote for Donald Trump and he did not want to have to cast his electoral vote for Trump. And so honorably, he quit. But I do think that the electoral system is a good one. Jeffrey Lord, Howard Dean, thanks so much for a spirited conversation. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Howard Dean served as the governor of Vermont from 1991 to 2003 and chair of the Democratic National Committee from 05 to 09. He's also a former presidential candidate. Jeffrey Lord is a contributing editor of The American Spectator and a CNN commentator. We've been hearing your reaction from Donald Trump's Second Amendment people comment. Nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is. I don't know. Derek writes, everyone is blowing this comment way out of proportion, especially considering how absolutely ridiculous it is. You can comment at Facebook.com slash The Takeaway. Do you think the American electoral process is rigged? This is Catherine from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I think rigged is a very loaded word. That's unnecessarily negative. I do, however, think that an individual vote does not matter as it should because of the Electoral College. Saginaw, Michigan, yes, ever since the Supreme Court awarded the 2000 election to Bush 5-4, to four, it was an all-partisan vote. Call us at 8778-MY-TAKE or comment at thetakeaway.org. Later this hour... You know, a lot of people get upset because Trump said, oh my God, the election's going to be rigged. But you had, on the first night of the Democratic National Convention, two people get up, two of their primetime speakers saying that the entire political and economic systems were rigged. Elizabeth Warren said the word rigged five times. The irony of democracy and the conspiracy theories people cling to, that's coming up here on The Takeaway. The Takeaway is supported by TIAA. Whether it's investing, advice, banking, or retirement, TIAA is committed to helping those who do good do well. Learn more at TIAA.org. What's going on? It's your boy Tyrell Deshaun, the R&B sensation from Pure Brilliance ENT. And you are now rocking with Vibes Live Radio with Miss Robin Lynn. Keep the vibes live, you dig? Oh, oh man. Kanye West. Glorin Hill. This shit is crazy. Listen, y'all. Man, I promise. She's 
so self-conscious She has no idea what she doing in college That major that she majored in don't make no money But she won't drop out her pants to so look at her funny Nah, tell me that ain't insecure The concept of school seems so secure Sophomore three years ain't picked a career She like, fuck it, I just stay down to her and do it That's enough money to buy her for a few pairs And it ends cause her baby daddy don't really care She's so precious with the peer pressure Couldn't afford a car so she named her daughter Crazy. Alexis Crazy. She had hair so long that it looked like weed And she cut it all off, now she look like E And she be dealing with some issues that you can't believe Single black feet to retail and well And when it falls yeah, down Who you gonna call now yeah. oh. Man I promise I'm so self-conscious That's why you always see me with at least one of my watches Roll these impostors that drove me crazy I can't even pronounce nothing Pass that for Stacey Then I spent 400 bucks on this Just to be like, nigga, you ain't up on this And I can't even go to the grocery store Without some ones that's clean And a shirt with a team It seems we live in the American dream But the people highs up got the lowest self-esteem The prettiest people do the ugliest things For the road to riches and diamond rings We shine because they hate us Floss because they degrade us We trying to buy back our 40 acres And for that paper, look how low we are stoop even if you in a bench, you still a nigga in a coop. And when it falls down, who you gon' call now? Yo, this kid's a problem, man. Word. I say fuck the police, that's how I treat them. We buy a way out of jail, but we can't buy freedom. We'll buy a lot of clothes, but we don't really need them. Things we buy to cover up what's inside. Cause they make us hate ourselves and love they wealth. That's why Shorty's hollering where the ball is at. Drug dealer by Jordan, crack kid by crack. And a white man get paid off for all of that. But I ain't even gonna act totally than that. I was fucked. I went to Jacob with 25 there. Before I had a house and I'd do it again Cause I wanna be on 106 and park pushing the bins I wanna act ball horrific like it's all terrific I got a couple past new bills, won't get specific I got a problem with spinning before I get it We all self-conscious, I'm just the first to admit it Don't stop that shit, keep that shit Keep, keep that part where I ran out of breath We ain't doing no punches, man, that's that fake shit Vibes on stage, now I got a Shit me back. My call son is a break. No. Couldn't have got nobody better for this job. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful, beautiful young lady that's inspired me definitely. Shit is crazy.
with a purple sting called Killing is a Tune. Beside the whistle cat, screaming me out of the world. Along a frosty road, sound always a time. I get another ring, making me happy. That'll take me for another. Enjoy the ride.
song. Wanna give a shout out to James Buzz Dog Beat for providing that tune for us. And we're just gonna go right into the music. Uh, You're listening to Vibes Live Radio 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 with Robin 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 Lee. MC Frozen One called me today from London. He's co-creator of Vibes Live, and we decided to get together on the air. It's been a long time since he and I have been on the air together as original Vibes Live DJs. He sent me over an awful lot of music, some of his favorite songs, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play them. All right, first up, Ed Sheeran. All right, stay tuned. Enjoy. I met this girl late last year She said, don't you worry if I disappear I told her I'm not really looking for another mistake I called an old friend thinking that the trouble would away But then I jumped right in a week later Returned, I reckon she was only looking for a lover to burn But I gave her my time for two or three nights Then I put it on pause until the moment was right I went away four months until I past crossed again She told me I was never looking for a friend Maybe you could swing by my room around ten Baby, bring the lemon and the bottle of gin We'll be in between the sheets till the late a.m. Baby, if you wanted me, then you should've just said she's singing I love, don't lie When my love, that heart is so cold All over my own I don't wanna know that, baby I love, don't lie When my love, I told her she knows Take aim and Weeks, I only want to see her We drink away the days with a takeaway pizza Before a text message was the only way to reach her Now she's staying at my all place right, and loves right. the way this I treat her Singing out a wreath all over the track five, like a feature five, And never Daniel. wants to sleep, I guess yeah, that I don't want to either yeah. But me and her, we make yeah. money the same way Four cities, two planes the same day yeah. And those shows have never been what it's about But maybe we'll go together and just figure it out I'd rather put on a film with you and sit on the couch But we should get on a plane or we'll be missing it now I'd have written it down The way that things played out When she was kissing him How I was confused about Now she should figure it out While I'm sat here singing I love, don't lie When my love That heart is so cold All over my own I don't wanna know that, babe I love, don't lie When my love I told her she knows Take aim and reload I don't wanna know that, babe I On my hotel door I don't even know if she knows what for She was crying on my shoulder I already told you Trust and respect is what we do this for I never intended to be next But you didn't need to take him to bed, that's all And I never saw him as a threat Until you disappeared with him to have sex, of course It's not like we were both on tour We were staying in the same hotel floor And I wasn't looking for a promise or commitment But it was never just fun And I thought you were distant This is not the way you realize what you wanted It's a bit too much, too late if I'm honest And all this time, God knows I'm singing I love, don't lie When my love, that heart is so cold All over my own I don't wanna know that, babe La, la, la. Well, you know what? I'm standing here. I'm supposed to be co emceeing with MC Frozen One. But he stood me up. I don't think he liked me no more. So you got Robin Lynn keeping the vibes live. What you say? Now, he sent me over some music, like I just said. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it. Um, we've got some awesome programming coming up in 2015. There's going to be some marvelous changes going on. And y'all never mind the people. They ain't got no etiquette in the studio and stuff there. We've got uh, repairs going on and normal admin office kind of stuff going on. So, you know, it's all in the day. Keeping the vibes live. <laughs> we got some more Ed Sheeran. 
Yeah, you want some more? Here you go. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23 And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand Well, me And my memory fades And the crowds don't remember my name When my hands don't play the strings the same way mm, I know you will still love me the same Cause honey your soul could never grow
standing me up. I'm all live on the air, man. I could have been sitting back watching TV or something. All right, next up we've got Hey Laura with Gregory Porter. Hey Laura, it's me. Sorry, but I had to ring your doorbell so late. But there's something bothering me. I really am sorry, but it just couldn't wait. Is there someone else instead of me? Go ahead and lie to me and I will be the lead. You're not in love with him and this fool can see That the rivers of your love flow uphill to me Hey Laura, it's me Sorry but I had to ring your doorbell so late But there's something bothering me Really, I'm sorry, but it just couldn't wait With a healthy dose of make-believe Won't you lie to me and make me believe That you're in love with me and this fool can see That the rivers of your love flow uphill to me But I had to ring your doorbell so late But there's something bothering me All night long I just couldn't wait With a healthy dose of make-believe Go ahead and lie to me and make me believe that you're in love with me and all oh, this fool can see That the rivers of your love flow uphill to me Hey Laura, it's me Hey Laura, it's me Hey Laura, it's me Wow, that's nice. MC said that this sounded like Ray Charles, and he do. <laughs> You're listening You're to Vibes Live Radio, 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 Radio with Robin Lynn. Robin Lynn. Robin Lynn. Robin Lynn. That's me. The number you have reached, 911, has been changed to a non-public number. <laughs> Now, you know that's bad when 911 has changed to an unpublished number. Doo-doo-doo. We're sorry. The number you've reached has an attitude. If you feel you've reached this attitude in error, please hang up. Do not try this call again. Okay, next up, we've got Liquid Spirit. We're just going to keep right on with the music. Just keep right on with the ride ons and keep on keeping on. MC Frozen One, I hope you're all right. Give me a jingling or something. Let me know. Holla. Holla at your girl. <laughs>
It's the best thing you've ever heard. <laughs> Fellas, that ain't it. That ain't it. We got to catch that spirit. That liquid spirit. That soul. That energy. You know what I'm talking about. I want it right here. Unreroute the rivers, let the damned water feed. There's some people down the way that's thirsty, so let the liquid spirit free. The people are thirsty because of man's unnatural hand. Watch what happens when the people catch wind, when the water hits the banks of that hard, dry land. Clap your hands now. Go ahead and clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Go ahead and clap your hands now. Mm hmm. Get ready for the wave, it might strike like a final flood The people haven't drank in so long, the water won't even make mud After it comes, it might come with a steady flow Grab the roots of the tree, down by the river, dip your cup when your spirit's low Clap your hands now, go ahead and clap your hands now Clap your hands now, clap your hands now Dip down and take a drink and fill your water tank. Dip down and take a drink and fill your water tank. Down the way that's thirsty, let the liquid spirit free. The folk are thirsty because of man's unnatural hand. Watch what happens when the people catch wind of the water hitting banks of hard, dry land. Clap your hands now, clap your hands now. Go ahead and clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Dip down and take a drink. And fill your water tank Dip down, take a drink And fill your water tank Liquid spirit Liquid spirit Liquid spirit Liquid spirit Clap your hands now Liquid
fade away Turning over TV stations Situations running through my head Looking back through time You know it's clear that I've been blind I've been a fool To open up my heart to all that jealousy That bitterness, that ridicule And if you want it, come and get it Crying out loud The love that I was giving you was Never it down Let go of your heart Let go of your head And fail it now Let go of your heart Let go of your Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so much for the rockers, man. And MC Frozen, when I think he fell asleep. <laughs> so I went ahead like a trooper and I conducted the show anyway. I hope you like it, MC, when you wake up and tune in. Thanks for keeping the lot fives live. We'll see you next time. And keeping the vibes live, uh huh, with none other than another Vibes Live exclusives, uh huh, with 273 Records Incorporated artists, and not only the artists, but the CEO as well of the label, PK. We are going to be listening to some sounds from 273 Records Incorporated, including PK. And some of the other artists over there. So just stay tuned and I hope you like it. We're going to just get started without no further ado. Yes. 
from money, and bitch, she shaking, she drinking, drinking, drinking. It make her do flips, she get it, she get it. We all about business. We can make the bitches get hot in the summer. I'm killer with thunder. My game is so summer, 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 oh summer. We got niggas getting stupid when it comes to the hundreds. When it comes to the hundreds, they passing the hundreds. There's no winking, no patient, get money, no flaking, flaking. Uh, y'all niggas be faking, faking. But you know I'm faking, but but flipping the wig like flipping the strip, like whipping the pots. Whipping, I'm 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 whip
average lady ass came crazy. Press came crazy. Get your ass up and stop being lazy. Watch your mouth hook. Watch your mouth trick. Get your ass whooped. I'm about that lot, bitch. Hoes hate me, no. Men love me, yeah. Get up, watch your feelings and get above me, yeah. Daddy tame that temper, he tame that ass too. Looking at me crazy, just know that you boo. I won't waste your time, it's just too precious to me. Come and give it to me, come get that pussy, daddy. He love the way I ride, he love the way I take it. When I look at him, yeah, he hope I make it. I won't let you down, I'm just a team player. No motivation, just in my life. We farther than they thought that we be going. Tip top roots top, now you know we top flowing. Top flowing. Now they looking, look at what we doing. They wanna see what we doing. Now they keep on looking at what's going on. Plus we get on top, know it's strong. Keep on looking at what's going on. You dig? Plus we get on top, know it's strong. So caught up in this hype with big yeah. dick All up in her high There's a little different Yeah, I come then play Then play then come That's option one Ooh. Baby shoes like water guns I'm telling her shit's that real deal yeah. She's telling my dick like night quit I'm like real ears What real ears Extraordinary Been knowing this girl since Tom and Jerry Just a chill nigga When it comes to my short I'm like chill nigga For a real nigga You didn't see the shit coming Like me keep this shit 100 100 Clyde, that's my bunny Gotta be singing rich moment Yeah, yeah Guys Singing angel, that my heaven is above. That's right. When it comes to them other bad bitches, bad bitches, it ain't no love. That's right. Keep them crossed out. Haters like hashtags. Yellow air, we laughing at them bitches. Go to hell, tell that. All this street shit, we did that. We did that. Me and my girl told magic ass on the ass like Nikki straight fat. Now we gay. We farther than they thought that we be going. Tip top, room top, now you know we top flowing. Now they looking, look at what we doing. Now they keep on looking at what's going on. Plus we get on tap, no song. Keep on looking at what's going on. Plus we get on tap, no song. Got me high as a fly You fuck boys on coach 
I'm rolling G5, I'm the hottest alive, I'm a star in disguise, AK to your tater, turn your ass to fresh fries, married to the paper, that's the love of my life, fuck it with my paper, you touch it, you die, nah ho, you can't be my main, only bitch that's but you can get a damn thing, I'm rich now, so what the fuck is this, the only thing that you good for is sucking dick. So what the fuck is this? The only thing that you good for is sucking dick. fans and followers in the U.S. as well as other countries, especially Germany and Russia. Thanks for the love and support, PK. Yeah. See, everybody goes through hard times, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it takes a lot to bounce back. How many of y'all out there? How many? Ever had a broken heart? I know I did. I'm about to tell you my story. I'm going to tell you about my eyes. It's my best me drink, please. So sit back, relax, and unwind. I'm going to tell you. Because I'm about to take you down my sad road. Down the sad road. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I say, are you ready? See, we all gonna have heartaches and pain. We all gonna have it, people. I'm gonna tell you mine. Let's go. Have you ever been in love? Had your heart broken all love? Got you thinking, got you drinking. As time moves on, we all get strong. Have you ever been in love? That it was gonna turn out the way it did Dang, but it's okay though Yep Have you ever been in love? Had your heart broken all love? Got you thinking, got you drinking As time moves on, we all get strong Have you ever been in love? Had your heart broken all love? Time moves on, we all get strong No more crying 
This is PK at 273 Records Incorporated with the lovely Robin Lynn keeping the vibes live. I've had these past years Let me make this clear I only fuck with thoroughbreds Have a party at my funeral Bitches throwing bread Only fear of death Is being reincarnated Underrated But I still remain the people's champ Jumped in the game like ramps Lost it like I was T Bitches asking for that fire About to feel this heat Two-faced, showed your beauty, now you see the beast Tongue wrestling, got your rappers in a tote hole Played that game, they couldn't beat us on rookie mode Oh, with their cheap codes, throw them out like cheap clothes Fuck being humble, miss me with that fuck shit Bitch, I'm Florida's best, number one draft pick Wish to get rich, I'ma die trying Why y'all niggas keep complaining, y'all can die crying I'm on the rise, I hit the sky and get the breeze And no surprise, I'm on the rise I got that drive and got that heat Man, fuck these other niggas Man, they can disagree Cause I ain't into making friends I'm into making history I'm talking H-I-I-S-S-T O-O-R-Y-C Yeah, fuck these other niggas Man, they can disagree Cause I ain't into making friends I'm into making history them other niggas don't see me I'm spitting them with that fire No matter if I'm high I make you pussies cry Don't never ask me why I'm meaning out the game Man, I ride beside my plane A hill fly, that's my name Man, I keep that ass in pro I used to have that blow Now I'm blowing on that diesel So quick, it's like the diesel No kisses and hugs, bitch When I'm trying to eat my pizza I ain't trying to make no friends Girlfriends with the kids I'm just trying to ride big with the rims that is big I ain't doing it for my niggas, I'm just doing it for my people And I ran that brick back with a whole lot of speed That's that tension on my engine, now these bitch trying to give me a speeding ticket Ass in your face, cause I don't really care I'm the flow with you niggas, so you better watch yourself 273 on the map, and that's what I real if you wanna ride, then ride by yourself, nigga. My eyes on the prize, I hit the sky to get the breeze. And no surprise, I'm on the rise. I got that drive and got that heat. Man, fuck these other niggas. Man, they can disagree. Cause I ain't into making friends. I'm into making history. I'm talking H N I S S T.
see it all, see it all. And on the road, on the road, like the MC, money like Jesus, it seems like it's money, money chasing dreams. Always trying to get on top, money chasing schemes. Been around the world and back, you know I see it all. Saying on the road, on the road, that's how I let you see. That's how I let you see dreams like it's money, money chasing dreams. Always trying to get on top, money. I see my pictures perfect, detracts my Mona Lisa's Phone exchange, all my money, now I'm rocking visas I said I'm rocking visas, chasing dreams in different countries Fast cars, red bras, living life hella good What's the matter, PK Hater said I never would Keep pushing like that engine, I knew I could Running on that fuel of idiots and broken promises Out of sight, out of mind, I find another me Or oh, better me, the money change y'all never me Now y'all hit it down this hill, you should've brought them skis Got them in for my reaction like a punchline You hit the drum line, the match was over before it started But I'ma play the game with guards to show that PK Heartless, 16 bars like 16 shots, and I got 20 clips. These dudes like expired by words, ain't no popping off. No one trampoline on this track, ain't no jumping off. These kisses are literate, son, still trying to find their problem. Music like rocks and water, always at the bottom. In that same pool of water, but I'm the deadliest catch. Sing my dog on you, cats, like cool Joe Fetch. You got that long stretch, turn. Trying to catch this rabbit Telling me tricks are for kids So I had to have it Tricked out the cars Son like I turned 18 You didn't see what you saw Oh what you thought you seen Been around the world and back You know I see it all And on the road Running around like EMC Money like this It seems like it's money Money chasing dreams Always trying to get on top Money chasing schemes Been around the world and back, you know I see it all. Yeah. Singing on the run, run. That's how I let you see. That's how I let you see dreams like it's money, money chasing dreams. Me some drones trying to get on top, money chasing schemes. Do something.
973 Records Incorporated with the lovely Robin Lynn, keeping the vibes live.
Incorporated, and I wanted to show my gratitude by saluting all my friends, fans, and followers in the U.S. as well as other countries, especially Germany and Russia. Then he turned and he looked at me He said, 
Mama made Christmas good at our house though. Most years she just did without Tell me sir, what am I gonna do? Somehow I've gotta buy her These Christmas shoes So I laid the money down I just had to help him out And I'll never forget the look on his face When he said, Mama's gonna look so great Sir, I wanna buy these shoes For my mom It's Christmas Eve and these shoes are just her size Could you hurry, sir? Daddy says there's not much time You see, she's been sick for quite a while And know these shoes will make her smile And want her to look beautiful If Mama meets Jesus tonight Christmas is all about Sir, I wanna buy these shoes For my mama, please It's Christmas Eve and these shoes are just her size Could you hurry, sir? Daddy says there's not much time You see She's been sick for quite a while
about it, but oh damn it slaps. The DJ might just have to run his back. This be hitting like a heart attack. Can someone please tell me where Brooklyn at? Ain't nobody on the wall in here. You with your man, but girl, see no one cares. I just came out here to have some fun. And I ain't worrying about anyone. See, all that I want is tonight to get crazy. I ain't going home and nobody can't make me. I just came out here tonight to have a good time. All day, all night, all day, all night. And the party don't stop till the sun come in the morning. So as soon as this drive, you gon' wanna get it poppin'. And nobody can stop us from doing what we want. And it goes on and on and on. And it's always turned up like tomorrow's never coming. Turn down for what the life in the hour of it. Every minute, every hour of the day, we keep it running. It goes on and on and on. We gon' party like it's Project X So you already know exactly what is next There's a little bit of everything in here Police tryna shut us down but we don't care Now all my homies holding Rick up in it Tomorrow night we hope to do it all again Oh here we go, yeah we so gone And I just hope that turn up never ends All that I want is tonight to get crazy I ain't going home and nobody can't make me I just came out here tonight to have a good time All day, all night, all day, all night And the party don't stop till the sun come in the morning So as soon as this drive, you gon' wanna get it poppin' And nobody can stop us from doing what we want And it goes on and on and on Like tomorrow's never coming Turn down for what the still like in the hour of it Every minute, every hour of the day We keep it running It goes on and on and on of legit and illegitimate is confusing now the redhead wanna say to make things clearer cause in about a year or two what you do is take a look up in the mirror and what you see is the image of hate that you shed upon the others and sisters and your brothers oh, yeah. now in my opinion you need someone to teach the whole world is acting like a giant how a beach I asked my man Victor what he used to do for fun he said he learned to shoot a gun before the age of 21 crime and abortion no cons are my distortion this is very important but just a little caution and what you can do that's a clue and it's true yo don't want a brand new sweater and make your life better and Brothers are 
chilling and dealing and big willing. And to a younger mind, that stuff is appealing. So what do they do? They gather up a crew, go out and steal a rob instead of getting a job. Now, your mother tried to bring you up better than that. The same way she loved you, you loved the right back. But now you think you're grown and you argue a lot over money I got from dealing stuff in the block. Now, you're not the only one in the world that has problems. Keep your head straight and you can surely solve them. Be a fly guy and re sky high. And like the Jeffersons, you get a piece of the pie. I hope you take heed to the message I brought. In other words, the lesson I taught. The red, I kick a lyric, but I won't sing. And the FBI crew wants you, and you will do the right thing. Table. 
knock him in the head and he's no longer able. I got a fast song. The way I do it, I can get it. This is The Takeaway. I'm John Hockenberry. Thanks so much for listening. Last week, it was the unqualified candidate who should never get near the White House. That was the discussion. This week, it is the -the off-the-cuff candidate saying things that might get you pulled out of a security line at the airport. Hillary wants to abolish, essentially abolish, the Second Amendment. By the way, and if she gets to pick... If she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. Donald Trump in Wilmington, North Carolina, suggesting that Second Amendment types constitute some corrective civilian militia who can change the results of an election by force if a president overreaches somehow. The Trump camp quickly released a statement saying he was referring to the, quote, power of unification, whatever that means. It seems as though it was clear in the original quote anyway. Mr. Trump has already signaled his doubt about the viability of free and fair elections in the United States. He said this in August, speaking in Ohio, where various tricks have been used to suppress reliably Democratic voters. First of all, it's rigged. And I'm afraid the election's going to be rigged. I have to be honest. Because I think my side was rigged if I didn't win by massive landslides. But the claim that America's elections are somehow rigged has taken a whole new energy. This cycle with Trump's claims, as well as those from Bernie Sanders supporters, many of whom believe that the DNC was skewed against their candidate. Howard Dean was a presidential candidate in 2004. He also served as the governor of Vermont from 1991 to 2003 and chair of the Democratic National Committee from 2005 to 2009. Also joining me is Jeffrey Lord, political advisor to Ronald Reagan and contributing editor of The American Spectator. He's also a CNN commentator. Welcome to both of you. Thank you, John. Nice to be here. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. And Howard Dean, what do you make of this assessment that free and fair elections are, in fact, a dubious proposition, as Donald Trump has suggested? The truth is that it's incredibly unlikely that you could rig an election in this country. Uh, Most people are honest. Most people that count the votes are honest. Um... I mean, one could bring up the George Bush victory by one vote, which was the Supreme Court vote, uh, but that really doesn't get to the what goes on at the polls. That was a that was a I think a hijacking by a right wing group on the Supreme Court. So um, I'm I'm disinclined uh, to think that it's possible to rig a presidential election. I think um, I think we do have to be vigilant. Uh, I think these voter ID laws are for the most part aimed at suppressing votes of people who were inclined to vote Democrats, which is members of minority groups and young people. Um, but, uh, you know, I, th- I think for, for Donald Trump to say the election is going to be rigged is, in, is consistent with all the other fairly crazy things that he has said over, the, over his candidacy. What is Donald Trump worried about, Jeffrey Lord? Well, I think he's worried about the same thing that, frankly, Republican candidates always have to be worried about, that in a close election, you've got a group of people in these big cities who are, in effect, stuffing the ballot boxes. Why should Republicans be worried about that? In 2000, they got the Supreme Court on their side, and boom, it was George W. Bush. Right, right, right. But, I mean, why do we have to go down that road? I mean, I think we need to be vigilant here. And one of the interesting sort of side effects of that is that a lot of people switch to computer voting. And, uh, you know, right here in my home precinct here in Pennsylvania, we vote by computer. But there's nothing that says, you know, I I can punch the screen, but there's nothing that verifies to me that my vote has actually been cast the way I want it, you know, unlike a paper ballot used to be. So you still have problems with this that are of a high tech nature that people can fool around with. There's no question about that. Well, you're speculating whether the computer actually records your vote or not. Isn't that something you're you're just. Well, I just all I'm saying, John, is we have to be careful about this because everybody wants to trust the the electoral system. And when there have been problems, you need to make sure that we've got people on hand who are who are honest and on the up and up and that the ballots are counted fairly and squarely. Let's talk about the voting machines for a second. Uh, I think Jeffrey's right about this. After the uh, 2000 election, there was a lot of so-called election reform. There were a lot of contracts which were 
uh, which were won, uh, particularly in places like Ohio, where you could have exactly the kind of machine that Jeffrey described, which was you, you push the button and you don't know what's happened, and that's that. Uh, there is a, a way around that. I'm for computerized voting, but you have to have a paper trail. So the computerized voting, uh, what we do in Vermont and have done for some time, is you fill out the ballot and then you stick it in the computer. The computer counts it, but you have the ballot that you filled out that everybody can look at it, recount. If you don't have a paper record, uh, I think Jeffrey's absolutely right. You do have to worry about computerized voting, and there was a huge problem with that. To both of you, uh, do you worry that Donald Trump rhetorically is trying to delegitimize the electoral process in advance of his elections, that if he loses, uh, there's a potential for instability that might, uh, in fact, create a a, a post-electoral turmoil that we've never seen before in this country? I I don't. I mean, I'm sure Governor Dean may have a different view of this. I I don't. I just I think that one of the things about uh, Donald Trump's campaign all through all of this is that he's been the outsider and outsiders traditionally have a different view of what goes on that's been accepted practice and procedure so i think that he brings the, brings that sort of gimlet eye to all of this and that he's raising good questions that need to be asked that perhaps might not be asked by more established politicians is it legitimate for an outsider to suggest that second amendment types constitute a civilian militia that's capable of correcting an improper election if uh, someone in the White House overreaches? Oh, I think that was a gotcha. You know, Hillary Clinton in the 2008 campaign, when she was uh, being pressured to withdraw from the California primary, said something to the effect that, well, you never know what happened. Robert Kennedy was assassinated the night of the California primary. And people instantly said, oh, my goodness, she's, is she suggesting that Barack Obama should be shot? Well, of course not. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is one of these media gotcha moments that I think is just crazy. And, you know, there's a backlash against that, too, out here. D- Donald Trump was here uh, at a local high school, and I went to the event, and he had a line in there that, that our biggest problem is the media. That was the largest and longest sustained applause line of the entire night. Well, I think both of us agree on that. (laughs) Um, uh, I I actually have heard that line used by right-wingers before, and it was used on me. I had a a right-wing opponent after I signed the Civil Unions Bill in 2000 who said, it's time for us to get a little dangerous. That's one of these remarks that that it is better not to be said by somebody who's running for a chief executive position, whether it's the president or governor or whatever it is. Um, the other uh, issue is the legitimacy of the elections. Uh, you know, there is, I wouldn't say there's instability, uh, but the, the scene in Florida with the recounts was pretty awful with keeping people banging in the glass and organized attempts to intimidate the people who were voting. Uh, I mean, people who are counting the votes, Uh, I don't think there's going to be real instability in the country. Uh, But, you know, I think Trump thrives on this kind of stuff. Trump thrives on chaos. This is his negotiating position. This is what he's used all of his uh, professional business life. He he gets people nervous. He gets them off balance. He gets deals. He doesn't keep them. Um, You know, I I think this is Trump. Do I think the country's going to become unstable because of Donald Trump? No, I don't think so. Uh, Although, actually... Uh, you know, I, my whole theory about these elections, not here, not just here, but in Brexit and, and the, uh, the right wing governments in, uh, in Europe, is that what's happened is globalization has left a lot of pe- people behind it. I actually think the establishment that Trump rails against, which he's, of course, part of, uh, is partly responsible for that. Uh, we, we, we do have a higher standard of living, but not everybody's participated. And people do feel that the, it's unfair, uh, and it is. Uh, the tax code, for example, is clearly slanted towards people who already have lots of money, and it's getting tougher and tougher on people who work for a living. Is uh, Donald Trump sending the message that if Hillary Clinton wins, it's a cheat on those people who are angry in America whose vote is consistently being suppressed? I think he is doing that, and I think that's a mistake because it's not true. I do th- I do think he th- he's sending a message here. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've had been to two of these Trump rallies right here in central Pennsylvania. I get a lot of, I have the opportunity to talk to a lot of the folks here. They're really upset. I mean, I guarantee you, I mean, they are quite passionate about feeling that they have been treated deeply unfairly by the quote unquote system here. And they are looking to Donald Trump to to bring change as a change agent. And they see Hillary Clinton, frankly, not just her, but 
since she's going to be the nominee, they see Hillary Clinton as part of the establishment, if you will, and that there is no change there ahead. And what strikes me about this is their enthusiasm for this. And I, I, I talk to Hillary Clinton supporters from time to time, and, and their essence of their response is li sometimes literally a shrug of the shoulders, like, yeah, well, I'm going to vote for Hillary. And there's always sort of a but in there. There's not a lot of enthusiasm. And I think that that may make a difference on Election Day. Uh, what do you think? I'm very enthusiastic, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Lord, final question. Does the Electoral College make it possible for a battleground state in a divided nation to be decisive if uh, one of these ballot stuffing tactics takes hold? Sure. I mean, the marvel of the founding fathers is the Electoral College. Uh, I I'm one of those people who love it. So. Yes, absolutely. This is the United States of America, not United America. And the states decide. I look forward to uh, seeing this play out in the Electoral College. I might add, if you ha didn't have an Electoral College, it'd be almost impossible to stuff ballot boxes and have it make any difference in a, ge in a national election. But, but let me just, Jeffrey Lord, you look forward to ballot stuffing in battleground no, no, states? No, 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 I don't look forward to ballot stuffing. No, I, I look forward to the system where, you know, we vote here in Pennsylvania and, and Governor Dean's folks vote in Vermont. And then you've got uh, people who are electors and they gather, in our case, they gather in the state legislature and they cast their ballot. I noticed the other day that there was an elector in Georgia who resigned because uh, he, he was apparently concerned that the state was going to vote for Donald Trump and he did not want to have to cast his electoral vote for Trump. And so, honorably, he quit. But I do think that the electoral system is a good one. Jeffrey Lord, Howard Dean, thanks so much for a spirited Thank conversation. You, Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Howard Dean served as the governor of Vermont from 1991 to 2003 and chair of the Democratic National Committee from 05 to 09. He's also a former presidential candidate. Jeffrey Lord is a contributing editor of The American Spectator and a CNN commentator. We've been hearing your reaction from Donald Trump's Second Amendment people comment. Nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. Derek writes, everyone is blowing this comment way out of proportion, especially considering how absolutely ridiculous it is. You can comment at Facebook.com slash The Takeaway. Do you think the American electoral process is rigged? This is Catherine from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I think rigged is a very loaded word that's unnecessarily negative. I do, however, think that an individual vote does not matter as it should because of the Electoral College. Saginaw, Michigan, yes, ever since the Supreme Court awarded the 2000 election to Bush 5-4, to four, it was an all-partisan vote. Call us at 8778 by take or comment at thetakeaway.org. Later this hour... You know, a lot of people get upset because Trump said, oh my God, the election's going to be rigged. But you had, on the first night of the Democratic National Convention, two people get up, two of their primetime speakers, saying that the entire political and economic systems were rigged. Elizabeth Warren said the word rigged five times. The irony of democracy and the conspiracy theories people cling to, that's coming up here on The Takeaway. The Takeaway is supported by TIAA. Whether it's investing, advice, banking, or retirement, TIAA is committed to helping those who do good do well. Learn more at TIAA.org. What it is, this is what that do, a.k.a. Mr. I Just Chill. We from Florida. We supposed to shine. Want to give a shout out to DJ Robin Lynn. Thank you for keeping the vibes live. Let's go. Yee!
That's the only trouble with goodbyes.
right now, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Clean Cut put together. Oh man, you gotta wait till you hear this, man. It's called Bob's Live Number Three theme song. Man, he got down and done it right, man. I'm saying, cause I'm listening to it and I'm like, damn. Play that one. We over here breaking records up again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bob's Live, Robin Lynn, baby. Got you playing again. Playing again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
preparing me for something Just because, because, because. 
that name then And then I got a nose job And changed my chin and made my skin light <laughs> Look me in the face and tell me If you think I'm black or white I'm still a virgin and I'm 33 Even my daughter won't have sex with me I guess I am black. If war is hell, then coffee has offered U.S. soldiers some salvation. This story is from NPR. I'm Eric Byrne. You're listening to Newsbeat Radio. In April 1865, at the bloody bitter end of the Civil War, Ebenezer Nelson Gilpin, a Union cavalryman, wrote in his diary, Everything is chaos here. The suspense is almost unbearable. We are reduced to quarter rations and no coffee, he continued. And nobody can soldier without coffee, he said. If war is hell, then for many soldiers throughout American history, it is coffee that has offered some small salvation. Hidden Kitchens looks at three American wars through the lens of coffee, the Civil War, Vietnam, and Afghanistan. War, freedom, slavery, secession, union, these are some of the big themes you might expect to find in the diaries of Civil War soldiers. At least, that's what John Grinspan, a curator at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History, assumed when he began digging through war journals in the nation's Civil War archives. I went looking for the big stories, Grinspan says, and all they kept talking about was the coffee they had for breakfast, or the coffee they wanted to have for breakfast. The word coffee was more present in these diaries than the words war, bullet, cannon, slavery, mother, or even Lincoln. You can only ignore what they're talking about for so long before you realize that's the story, Grinspan says. Union soldiers were given 36 pounds of coffee a year by the government, and they made their daily brew everywhere, and with everything, with water from canteens and puddles, brockish bays, and Mississippi mud, liquid their horses would not drink. Soldiers would drink it before marches, after marches, on patrol, during combat, Grinspan tells us. You are now listening to Vibes Live with Robin Lynn.
I'd be standing face to face with my own destiny. Oh, and we sat there talking just like we were old friends. Oh, then I asked her, can I see you again? She said yes, and I said wow. She said when, and I said how about a right now? Days flew by just like a fast train And nothing else has been on my brain Except the thought of how she makes me The man I want to be She's the one I want for a million reasons Loving her is just like breathing It's easy and it's obvious She was made for Much to my surprise She said yes And I said wow She said when And I said how about right now Love can't wait Then I 